All right, in this tutorial, we're going to practice solving some area problems. The problems in this tutorial are pretty basic, but some people still might struggle or forget how to do some basic area, so I decided to upload this video. So this first problem reads that the area triangle ABD, which is this triangle right here, has an area of 18 square units. So we have to figure out the area of rectangle ABCD. Well, we should clearly notice that the triangle in question, ABD, covers exactly half the area of the entire rectangle. So if this triangle has an area of 18 square units, this triangle must have an area of 18 square units as well. So we can just double 18, and that would give us 36 square units. One thing that we should know about any rectangle is that if we were to cut that rectangle in half by drawing a diagonal across that rectangle, we would have created two congruent triangles. So if the area of one of those two triangles is given, we know the other triangle, which is congruent, will be equal in area. All right, let's go on to the next problem. All right, for this problem, we have to figure out the area of this parallelogram shown on the grid. And to find the area of any parallelogram, what we have to do is multiply its base by its height. So what we have to do is use the grid to determine this parallelogram's base length and its height length. All right, so the base of our parallelogram starts here, and it ends right here. So we would say where we start is 0, and then the next grid line would be a distance of 1. So from here to here is a distance of 1. So this would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So the length of our parallelogram's base is 14 units. Now we have to figure out what the height is. Now, one thing that we should know about any parallelogram is that its height is always going to be perpendicular to its base. So what we have to do is draw a line that's going to be perpendicular to this line right here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line from this point down to this point. So when we measure the height starting at zero, we would have to go up one, two, three, four units. So the height of our parallelogram is four units. Now what we have to do is just multiply 14 times 4 and that's going to end up giving us 56 square units. All right, let's go on to the next problem. This problem reads that the figure below is divided into four small squares. The sides of each small square are 8 centimeters long. What is the area in square centimeters of the entire figure? Well, it is given that the length of each side of each small square is 8 centimeters in length. So from this point right here to this point right here of this square would be 8 centimeters. And from here to here would also be a length of 8 centimeters. So to find the area of just this small square right here, we can just multiply 8 by 8, which is 64. And because the other squares are congruent to this square, we can just take 64 and multiply it by 4 because we have 4 squares with an area of 64. And 64 times 4 is 256. Now another way that we can do this problem is because we know it is 8 centimeters from here to here, that means from here to here is also 8 centimeters in length, which means from here all the way to the top would be 8 plus 8 or 16 centimeters. And if this edge is 16 centimeters, then this edge right here is also 16 centimeters. So we could take 16 and multiply it by 16 to get our answer. So 6 times 6 is 36, and 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9. We put a 0 here and multiply 1 times 16, which is 16. And that would give us a total of 256 square centimeters. 
All right, let's go on to the next problem. For this problem, we have to figure out what is the area of this trapezoid. Now for some trapezoids, you can actually use mental math to solve. So what you do first is you identify the length of the trapezoid's two bases. This base right here is 16, and this base right here is 12. So to solve this mentally, if you can determine what number would be right in the middle of those two numbers, what you can do after you figure out what that number is, is take that middle number and multiply it by the height of the trapezoid. And the value that is right in the middle of 12 and 16 is 14. So we can take 14 and just multiply that by 9, and that is going to be our answer. So 4 times 9 is 36. We carry the 3. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 3 more is 12. So the area of this trapezoid is 126 square units. Now, this method that I just used would not be good if the numbers were a lot larger and you cannot figure out what number would be right in the middle of those two values. So what you would have to do in that case is rely on a formula. And the formula really is just adding the two bases together. So in this case, we have 12 and 16. And then taking that sum and dividing it by 2. And that actually tells you what value is in the middle of these two values. It's really taking the two bases and finding the average of those two numbers. And then after you figure out this value, you just multiply that result by the height of the trapezoid, which in this case is 9. So what we would do in this case is take 12 plus 16, which is 28, and then we would divide that by 2, and then multiply by 9. And 28 divided by 2 is 14, and we multiply that by 9, which we already know is 126 square units. All right, let's solve the next problem. What we have to do in this problem is find the area of the triangle that's shown on the graph. Now remember, to find the area of any triangle, what we have to do is multiply its base by its height and take that product and divide it by 2. So first, let's determine the triangle's base length and then determine the length of its height. So this triangle's kind of rotated on its side here, but that's okay. We can visualize this line segment right here as its base. And we can go to the top of the triangle and draw a line that's perpendicular to its base for the height. So this triangle's base starts down here at negative 4, and it ends up here at positive 4. So we would have to go up 4 units just to get to 0, and 4 more units to get to positive 4. So that is a total distance of 8. Now we have to figure out what the length of the triangle's height is. So notice that the height of the triangle starts at negative 4. So we would have to go 4 just to get to 0. And then we have to go 5 more to get to positive 5. So if we travel a distance of 4 plus 5 more, that would give us a total of 9. And we have to take that product and divide by 2. So 8 times 9 is 72, and we got to take that and divide that by 2, which gives us 36 square units. All right, so that was just some quick area review, just in case you forgot how to do some of those problems. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, just in case you need some help with your math homework.